This fire investigation is a training exercise. The scene we've got in front of us is suspected arson. At the moment, we don't know that is the case, but the information we've received prior to arrival is suspected arson. So we're treating it as a crime scene. Jason Dean is an experienced West Midlands fire service investigator. So we're looking for damage around the door in case the door's been forced open. Damage at the windows to see if the windows have been broken before the fire and then something's been introduced to start the fire. We're looking at burn patterns. We're looking for ignition sources. But this isn't a real fire scene. Jason's wearing a virtual reality headset and the scene he's looking at is a three-dimensional replica of a genuine fire. The beauty of it is it's exactly the same as what you would get in a real fire scene, because you pick items up in a fire scene or look around them in a fire scene, exactly the same as we can here. Virtual reality scenes like this are now being used to train the next generation of fire investigators. The training that we create really does allow the person to feel like they've been in that scenario, touch things, pick things up, and then, of course, learn things from that scenario. Virtual reality frontline training is the brainchild of Alex Harvey. Alex used to create cutting edge video games, but has now set up a company called Reality in Virtual Reality. One of the reasons I left the gaming industry, you know, six years ago and got into virtual reality was because it was so exciting and so powerful. Alex and his team have created a series of fire scenes based on real fires to help train fire investigators. We don't have to say, imagine if you're a fire investigator and you find a in the scene, you just put them in the scene. There's no suspension of disbelief. You're now, your hands are your hands inside the virtual scene and your eyes are inside a virtual world and you, there's no suspension of disbelief anymore. You just carry on as if you're inside the scenario. That's why it's so exciting. The emphasis was on creating exact copies of several fire scenes, including some where arson was suspected. When we talk about arson or fires that have been started deliberately, obviously that's a very important thing that needs to be correct. So training people in the best way possible is of utmost importance. When we're creating these scenarios, we do want to have the instructors and the trainees have the most realistic scenes possible. Alex used a process called photogrammetry, taking thousands of images of real scenes and using them to create photorealistic 3D replicas. That's one of the USPs, basically, that allows you to see those smoke patterns and fire patterns as they were in the real world. Because if you're trying to recreate it in a cartoon-type gamified way, some of the uh, instructors and also the trainees are going to find it harder to relate it to. Within these virtual reality scenes, trainee fire investigators can search for clues and determine the cause of the fire. One of the most important things that we had to work on when we started designing this software was that it had to give you all the functionality that you would have in the real world you can pull down a camera and take a photo for evidence and look at your photos later. There's a dictaphone, so you can pull down a dictaphone and record your notes. There are evidence markers and even a virtual sniffer dog. You can pull down the menu, press a button that calls in this dog, and then you get to watch a 360 video of the dog searching the scene. And in some of the scenes, he indicates that there is petrol or chemical used in a certain area. He points his nose and freezes and wags his tail. And you also get the audio commentary from the dog handler talking you through. Jason now uses virtual reality to help train the next generation of firefighters. I've been a fire investigator for 12 and a half years. I've been in the fire service for 29. Fire investigation um, is extremely difficult, and to try to determine how that fire started is a science, really. It takes years of experience and training to get yourself to a stage where you can walk into a scene and just by looking at it, you can start to work out by burn patterns, um, by 
other evidence around the room, physical evidence around the room, that the fire has been started deliberately or whether it's an accidental fire. Jason says these virtual reality scenes, which replicate genuine fires, have transformed training. With virtual reality, we can repeat the training over and over again. Rather than use it as an assessment tool, we use it as a teaching tool. We can interrupt it, we can change it, we can uh, talk to the students halfway through, we can allow them to make mistakes, it doesn't uh, affect the evidence, and hopefully put them through numerous scenes and processes that stretches their ability and their skills. You can see the charring on the table. It's quite heavy to the legs on this side. We can pick the table up, well, we can evidence it and we can look at it out in the lab. Jason wasn't immediately convinced about the benefits of training in virtual reality. As an experienced FI with 29 years in the fire service, I was very skeptical on what it could provide us until I first used it. And then when you use it, you understand straight away how useful it is as a training tool. When you put it on, you're in the scene. If you kneel down, you think you're going to get dirty. If you move things, you think you're going to get dirty. You need lighting to illuminate the scene because it's dark. You can pick things up and move things around. It's, it's as real as you're going to get other than being in the scene. The experience it gives future fire investigators is invaluable. In order to prove whether a fire's been started deliberately, you need to understand the fire scene. And the only way you can understand a fire scene is by training. And the only way you can train is by looking at a burnt building. You can't just do it from a book. So getting hands-on and learning is the best way forward. Once qualified, the skills that have been learned here will be put to use on the front line. As soon as they finish the training, they're going to be in charge of fire appliances and they're going to, or they're going to be fire investigation officers. And definitely, the, the benefits that we get from the VR world they identify exactly the same in the real world because they are real life scenes, just in virtual reality, that's all. Alex is convinced virtual fire investigation training is just the beginning. It's like a game. It's like creating a whole game world around your specific niche. We can do the same thing for all industries. First, all we've hit is fire investigation. The next product we're making is crime scene investigation. We're focusing on first responders because we think that market's important, but it's going to be everything. <laughs>